Now, with aging comes a lot of changes to a person's life and their biochemistry. And in women especially, hormones tend to decline, putting in motion a whole host of health challenges. So what are some of the natural solutions and lifestyle changes that can assist in maintaining a holistic female well-being after the age of 45? Joining me in studio for this discussion is Dr. Mark Oppermann and Sister Elise van Aert. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Elise, welcome to the first time in the studio. Thank you so much. Great to have Appreciate you with us. It. Thank you. Now, I'm going to start with you, Mark, just for a, for a bit of an overview here. What, at what age do female hormones start to decline? So, Michael, this is quite interesting. Female hormones start declining over a long period of time. Okay. So, from the mid-30s onwards, that's when we start going into what we call perimenopause. Okay. And that period can be anything from five to ten years and sometimes even a little bit longer okay. and that is is sometimes when women just start feeling a little bit under the weather if I can call it like that you know if they're just not as great as they used to be okay. um, and this is before any of the symptoms of menopause start and menopause starts usually from about 48 Elise 40 onwards yeah 48 up okay. to 52 three years old. Yes. And let's just give a quick overview as well of, of what this process of menopause is actually, what's actually happening in the body. Okay, I think I think I want to go back to the perimenopausal okay. stage. Okay. That is the difficult side to diagnose actually okay. by any doctor. The woman presents with certain um, symptoms blood test doesn't show it it's just a feeling okay okay and that's what the important part of it is and then full-blown menopause is um, usually also very difficult to diagnose because you need to find do a blood test at a certain s period in the menstrual cycle of okay, this woman okay. because th the hormones are tend to fluctuate right yeah. through the cycles so um, the things that they're talking about or complaining about and I can use myself when that happened with me is a friend of and me were shopping and she was saying but it's not that hot why are you sweating so mm. much so that's a hot flush it's a hot flushes right. I didn't sleep well I was moody and the hot flushes was the first thing and the blood test didn't show that so it's a general it's a holistic feeling that something is not right okay. that's the start of menopause right right so Unlike with men, um, you know, where the, where the symptoms are always very insidious, it's never pinpointed. Mm. With women, when we go through menopause, there's a clear and definitive sign. Okay, you me in menopause and now you post menopause. Right. So with menopause, what happens is we start having a decrease in estrogen levels. Okay. And that throws out your balance between not only estrogen and progesterone, but estrogen and testosterone. Okay. And the precursors of both these hormones, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, starts elevating. But clear sign of menopause, post-menopause actually, is when a woman hasn't menstruated for 9 out of 12 months. The warning sign starts when a woman is telling you, I haven't menstruated for 3 months okay. in a row, okay. for instance. Okay. What are some of the other things that are associated with menopause that women would notice as a change in themselves, either it's mentally or physically? Okay. Um, one of the first things is women don't like their husbands anymore. <laughs> it's unfortunate side effect. Yes, that's a side effect. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm making a joke now about it. But yes, it's that moody feeling. Mm -hmm. It's that not that general sexual desire that I feel when I'm with my husband. Right. Um, arousal is difficult. You know, um, vaginal dryness is a problem. So, in that regard, they do have um, uncomfortable or painful intercourse. Okay, okay. That is the first actual signs that's happening with a woman right. um, that's going into the perimenopausal. Last year, w uh, this time, we spoke about uh, a beautiful study that was published about women and hypersexual desire disorder, which is basically low arousal and low libido. Right. And the the study clearly showed that the best way of treating this is testosterone. Um, and that's where we started last year. And, you know, it, we've, we've started the T-Clinic for Women. Um, 
And from there, we started seeing that treating these patients with uh, testosterone um, has a phenomenal effect, not only on the arousal and the libido, but on all the other symptoms that they're starting to, to battle okay, with. Okay. The brain fog, um, fatigue, the irritability, the mood swings, um, just general well-being mm. started changing. Um, we spoke about it last week where we said testosterone, the biggest effect thereof is on the brain yes. um, and on higher function. And we see that very clearly in women, um, that when they start presenting with those kind of symptoms of the perimenopause, I'm just not feeling that mm. great. And when we start treating them with testosterone, not only is there a resurgence and a m balancing of the hormones during the peri perimenopausal state, but it's almost, and I'm going to be quite facetious in saying this, it's almost as if we buy time before menopause really starts kicking in. Okay. Please, you've been on the testosterone treatment now. What, what, what for you was the biggest thing? I think for me, w the biggest thing was it's, it's so subtle. You don't... Okay you don't realize okay but it's because i had this injection mm, it's just mm. you feel so much better your yes. humor is back you okay. um you laugh more you you just feel generally feel better right right yeah so i i just want to go back if i may to uh, women always secrete testosterone yes. and it comes from the ovaries and the adrenal glands that sits on top of the kidney and when you go into menopause your you don't ovulate anymore. Okay. That's the thing that yes. happens. Now, how does ovulation, please, Dr. Godey? It's like you've got hormones that is um, secreted in your brain around the pituitary gl um, gland. It's the LH and the TSH. FSH. FSH. And then that stimulates the ovaries to ovulate yes to release that egg uh, to yeah. release yeah. that egg and that's when the testosterone also is being released okay and so in menopause that whole system is paused it shuts down shuts down, okay. shuts down. Mm, right. yeah so it helps to create that context so you understand what the mechanics are exactly. that is having an impact exactly now apart from the testosterone therapy doc um, you've also got platelet rich plasma therapy. How does that aid in this whole process of menopause and sort of easing the transition, if we can call it so that? So the first thing is, let's quickly just look at what platelet-rich plasma is. If we look at the constituents of blood, you have your red blood cells, which carries oxygen, white blood cells, which is responsible for your immune system, and platelets, which is responsible for clotting. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have an injury to a blood vessel or tissue, the clotting of the platelets releases growth factors. They literally degranulate. Okay. And it's that growth factors that's by, like the blueprint for cells how to repair themselves. Yes, right. And it's that that we after. So when we harvest the platelet-rich plasma and we inject it back into tissue that's compromised, there's a regeneration of that tissue. Okay. And in women, if you've had uh, children, especially natural birth, there's always damage that's been, been forced onto the bladder and the anterior, both as, uh, as well as the posterior vaginal walls. So these tissues start becoming lax and there's no longer support. Mm -hmm. And when we use platelet-rich plasma, we start rejuvenating that tissue. We start rejuvenating the glandular tissue that's in the vagina, which secretes um, lubrication. So you know, it, it's literally turning back the clock in your vagina. It's phenomenal. Mm. And we do a lot of those treatments. Firstly, it's basically non-invasive. It's not painful. At least you, you perform so many of them on a daily basis. Um, it's comfortable for the patient. They immediately start reporting, you know what, I feel a tightness. They lubricate better. Um, they, there's more sensitivity. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's a phenomenal treatment to do because we utilize what you have in your body. It's yeah. you yourself. Now, Lise, we are running out of time, but I just would like to ask you, as somebody who administers these sort of procedures and also as a lady yourself, I mean, what is the feedback that you get from the ladies that you're dealing with? The feedback is usually, I did, if I knew this earlier, mm -hmm. I would have come earlier about 
for this treatment. Yeah. So, and, and I have to reiterate, it's not a once-off treatment. It's a series of treatments. Okay. Series, not serious. Um, and, and we combine the treatments, obviously. Right. With yes. the so it's a full regime that you can... Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've just had a testimonial that I can't go into on TV. That good, okay. that okay. woman is... Very pleased. Very pleased <laughs> with what happened <laughs> with her. It, it yeah. literally changed her life. It changed her relationship with, with her, her husband. partner. Okay. Yeah. And suddenly, you know, but these people are in their early 60s. For the first time in 20 years, they have an active sex life. That's amazing. Well, Mark, people obviously are going to want to find out some more information. How can we get hold of you? The easiest is to get hold of us on the website, www.theteclinic.com. Um, we have branches in Umschlange. We're opening a new branch in Limpopo very shortly. There's a branch in Pretoria and, and our main branch in Johannesburg where the phone number is 10 824-1393. Wonderful. Well, Mark and Elise, thank you so much for sharing You're some welcome. insight into this rather exciting stuff um, that people can get involved in. So thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. Mark.